But, you know, you want to ID me and sh like I'm a criminal? Yeah, because we don't know that's your bad. Huh? Portland police harassment. An argument ensues between an innocent man and police officers over the ownership of a bag. The officers demand to verify the person's identity before returning the bag, leading to a heated exchange where the innocent man feels his rights are being violated. He refuses to show his ID, accusing the officers of theft and robbery. Despite this, the officers maintain that they are only trying to ensure the bag belongs to its rightful owner. The harassment continues with the innocent man insisting on the return of his bag without providing identification. Original video is attached below. Please show him some support. Hey, You're I not can't. Take the bag until we can verify that it's yours. I can't get my bag. How do we know it's yours? It's mine. Okay. Let's see your ID. All I left. No, no, I ain't even know. I damn ID. Okay. Oh, you, uh, okay. Steal my bag. Steal it. Good. Steal it. If you want to go ahead and take the bag back to your service, you more than you can wait for the. Steal my bag. No, 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 no. She just robbed me of my bag. And you just, as a police officer, no. let her rob my if bag. You want, if, if, if you're claiming this is your bag and you want it, all you got to do is show them your ID to verify that. Well, why do I need to show my ID? That's my bag. That's your bag? That's my damn bag. Mm -hmm. And and, and no, so, no, 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 you, no, you oh, it's okay. Hey, hey, you, you can steal from me, Morales. Mm -hmm. I'm not stealing it. it no, no, no. It. it don't belong to them. Okay. It belongs to me. And who are you? Huh? And who are you? Look at the name. I didn't see the name. Huh? The name on it is mine. Mm -hmm. and what was the name on it? Huh? Look at it. Okay. Open the m I'm not opening the back. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you want to ID me and sh like I'm a criminal? Yeah, because we don't know that's your bad. Huh? In yet another instance of bureaucratic nonsense, the man filming tries to extract basic information from an uncooperative officer. Despite the man's simple request for the district attorney's name, the officer stubbornly refuses, hiding behind the excuse of failure to identify as a crime. The officer's lack of transparency and unwillingness to cooperate only serve to escalate the frustration. Instead of providing a straightforward answer, the officer sticks to a rigid and unhelpful stance, leaving the innocent man questioning the absurdity of such laws. It's a classic case of power tripping and obstructionism on the part of the cop, making them appear petty and obstructive. For future updates in his case, you can subscribe to his channel. The link is attached below. I don't have a badge, I'm a sergeant. <clears throat> hey, what's going on today, man? I understand there's some kind of confusion or something. There ain't no confusion. I'm out here, man, trying to get it. Okay. I ain't doing no, no crime, I ain't doing nothing. They got like one, two, three, four. What other one? Five, I don't give a, I don't give a, hey, what that, what that dude here for? Why he here? I told you why. Why he here? So what's going on? So what's going on? Why he here? What's going on? I'm just trying to ask. Why he here? Why, why, why they got here? I'm just trying to ask. No, why they got here? I'm, cause he's. What? The police department. The police, oh, you, you a what? You a what? He's with the police department. He's in training. He's in training. He's out here? Yeah. Better tell him he identify himself then. Okay, hey, so what's going on, man? What, uh, I understand there's just a simple traffic stop. Traffic stop, traffic okay. Traffic stop, traffic stop. Your, your registration is expired? Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. Is that a crime? Yes, it is. You, you're not, any vehicle that drives on this, on the streets needs to have insurance. Is that a crime? Registration. Is that a crime? Okay, we're not gonna go there. All I'm asking is, is that a crime? Are you gonna? Uh, that's a crime. Or not? Is that a crime? Do you want to identify yourself or not? Is that a crime? This is tampering with the registration, right here. Do you want to identify yourself? Is that a crime? Do you want to identify yourself? Is that a crime? Okay, stand by. Say that again. You have to step out of the vehicle. The district attorney accepted the charges. The so you call it uh, attorney? Who? The Harris you, County District Attorney's Office. What What's the name? Harris County District Attorney's Who's Office. Who's the name? Who you, who you spoke with? All that'll be in the report. Oh, who you spoke with? All that'll who be in you the spoke report. with? Who you spoke with? Do you want to step out? Who you spoke with? Do you want to step who out? Who you spoke with? What's the DA's name? McCurry? McQuery. 
McQuay. It's the district attorney's office. Right? McQuay. How you spell his name? I don't know. All right, get get that. Get his hey. name. Get 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 all his information. Hey, look, man. And get back to me. Hey, look. All I'm asking you to do is ID yourself or step out of the vehicle. You understand that? I'm not trying to go back and forth with you. What what crime I committed? Failure to ID. Well, what crime is that? Failure to ID. What crime is that? Failure to ID. What 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 uh? All I'm asking is, do you want to step out or not, sir? What crime is that? You don't want to step out. What crime is that? Failure to ID. What crime is that? Failure to ID is a how, crime. How, how's that a crime? Because you're failing to ID. Why was that a crime? Cause what crime I, I committed? To what what crime I committed? What crime I committed? What what crime I committed? Do you want to step out, sir? What crime I committed? Okay. A heated exchange occurs between a driver and Detective Saunders, who's a cop. The driver questions why he stopped and refuses to show his license, saying he's not detained. The cop insists on ID and brings up a past incident involving the driver's son. The driver gets angrier, accusing the cop of corruption and past misconduct. The cop escalates, threatening to call the sheriff and insisting the driver is held for a traffic offense. Finally, the driver gives in and shows his license. The cop comes across as aggressive and power hungry, using intimidation tactics and past grievances to force compliance. The original video is attached below. Please check it out. Can I help you? Can I help you? All right, how can I help you? Go ahead, you're being videoed. Can I help you? you? Why are you pulling me over? So put your car in drive. It's in park. Okay, put it how in How can park. I help you? You have? No. Yeah, you're no. not You're not in control of him. Show me your driver's license. No, sir. Yep. Why? Uh, yeah, you are going to show me your Why driver's license. Why do I need to show you my license? Make sure you have a valid license. Why no am I being pulled over, sir? Quit interrupting This is going live right now. Okay, you are being, fine. Why am so I? are you. You're being reported. Why am I Passenger, getting pulled over? provide your driver's license to me. Or put you it don't on need the window. to. I'm not talking to you. You don't need Passenger. to. Passenger. Roll your window down. No. He Roll your window to. down. He doesn't need to, sir. I'm not talking to you. Okay? He does not need to. I'm not talking to you. He does not. Please call your supervisor right now. He's here. Where is he? He's here. Please identify yourself, your badge number. He's here. Where is he? Sir, please, can I talk to you over here? Are you the same guy that showed up to my house where your son hit my vehicle? I don't you tell me. I don't know anything about that. You don't? You're on camera at my house knocking on the door saying your son hit my vehicle. Okay. Is that you? What's your you, name? You tell me. Identify. Are you Clay Clay Michael Saunders? I'm Detective, Detective Saunders. Detective Saunders? That's correct. Okay. You have a, a daughter named Kaylee and a son? Huh? Nope. What's your son's name? You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Please show provide your, your supervisor. Life. No, sir. Yeah, he's Call here. your supervisor. I just told you he's Sir, here. can I please see you over here? Are you the supervisor? Why am I being pulled over? Yeah, you need to relax. You're being recorded. Am I awesome. being detained? So are you. Am I being detained? Yeah, you're being stopped. Why? You see the lights behind you? It's a Why? traffic stop. Why? Because you're being stopped. Are you a traffic Passenger. police? You need to give your ID no. or else no. it's going to be a, a, different, no, 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 no. a different outcome here for you. No, it's so not. You need to identify yourself. No, he does not. I'm not talking to you, then, okay? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Please provide your supervisor here. Who's your supervisor? What's his name? Do I need to call the sheriff's office right now? You're doing something illegal. I know what you are. You're a crooked police officer. Last week or last year, you were reprimanded. Right or wrong? You had a written, written reprimand. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. It's okay. You're being recorded. How many more times are you going to say that? So okay. are you. Call your supervisor. Huh? Am I being detained? Can I go? What was the traffic infraction? What was the tra traffic infraction? You were failing. I was not speeding. You absolutely were. Where's the radar? Okay, it's in my car. My car's okay. calibrated. Is your car calibrated? Yes, okay. it is. So you're being stopped right now for that traffic okay. violation. You're going to be detained while we conduct this stop. Do you understand? Okay, okay. I'll show you my driver's yeah. license. Thank you. In Maitland, Orlando, a cop decided to pull over a driver just because they had Georgia tags, which apparently made them suspicious. The officer got even more suspicious when the driver wouldn't open the glove box. They decided to exploit the law by bringing in a dog to sniff around the car during the stop. Despite finding no drugs, the officer still painted the driver as suspicious because they refused to show documents. 
It seems like the cop was just looking for trouble where there wasn't any, making them appear incompetent and overbearing. The original video is attached in the description. Make sure you check it out. I don't know, um, and whatever your whatever your rationale for not wanting to go into the glove box saying write me a bunch of tickets for it, you don't want to open your glove box, that is 100% your right to do so, mm -hmm. but that makes us very suspicious about the contents of your motor vehicle. Throughout the duration of a traffic stop, we are allowed by the, the Supreme Court allows us to conduct what's called an exterior sniff. It's not a search of your car, it's an open air exterior sniff while the traffic stop is happening. So the officer was suspicious of the contents of your motor vehicle based on the fact that you were refusing to open your glove box and present even the simplest of paperwork that you are required to do. Now, it's not criminal to not provide it, but your exact response was, write me tickets, I'm not opening my glove box, which makes that officer very suspicious, hence why she called me. We searched your, I searched your car, there's nothing in your car. Like I explained to you, the odor does not mean that there are drugs in your car. That just simply means that the odor is present. The dog have millions of scent receptors in their nose. It's very sensitive and they can smell stuff that's very, very old. So you did an open what? It's called an open air exterior sniff. Open air. So the dog went around, did an open air. Oh, an open air exterior sniff and then while you, you were lawfully detained on a traffic stop. We are not holding you yeah. for an unreasonable amount of time. You were still being issued citations Ooh. while when I got and then, here. And then you did what? Did what for what? You did an open air too? Or you went inside the truck? The dog did an open air exterior sniff yeah. with his positive alert. Yeah. That and gives me probable cause to search your car. To go inside the truck? Correct. Okay, all right. Didn't find anything in your truck? Mm -hmm. That means I can't search you. I can only mm -hmm. search your car. Can search with you? Yeah. Nope. I, the law says that I can only mm -hmm. search a car with a, with a positive alert. I can't inside search the, you. Inside the car? Inside the truck. You're, mm -hmm. as a person, held to a higher threshold. Okay. Um, but that is what we are allowed to do by the Supreme Court. Um, but like I said, whether or not you just didn't want to provide your information, I don't know what your feelings are about police. That's your business. Yeah. You are well within your rights to do whatever you want as long as you're not breaking any criminal statutes. But that does make it... Can you see where it would heighten the suspicion level a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. Where's the ticket, man? Come on, I gotta go. So, uh, Next, we have a video from Jay Goins' YouTube channel. Retaliatory stop by officer offended by remarks from cyclist riding by a traffic stop. The cyclist decides, argues with a cop during a traffic stop, saying the cop is wrong for giving out tickets. But as always, cop doesn't listen and gives the ticket anyway. Ended up violating his right and freedom of speech. The original video is attached below. Please show him some support. You're gonna violate my rights now, huh? No, you rode the stop sign. You I stop sure as hell did, man. Yeah. You, you were riding a bicycle to a stop sign? Yeah, you got stopped. Just like the car. You know what? When you took that oath upon the Constitution, hey, driver's license, did you read ID it? card? Did you read it first? Driver's license and ID card. Did you read it first? Driver's license and ID card. I'm you not just, gonna ask you again. You suspect me of committing a crime? Yeah, you rode the stop sign. You have to stop. You know what? How do you think you treated our founding fathers like this? How'd they treat you? If officer safety was ta your top priority, I don't think you'd be doing this shit. What? Writing you a ticket? What's, what's wrong with that? Because they fought for their freedom. Okay. They fought for, you're going to write me a ticket? Yeah. You're yeah. going to generate that revenue, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, you're such a patriot. You know that? You think patriotism is a flag, too? You're gross. Be about that. Hey, no, I just don't like cops, man. What? Yes, I like freedom. I hope you feel better about yourself, man. Your driver's license is wrong. You let your family oh, think you oh, fight for copy. freedom. On the back of the blue copy, there's, that ticket, a, there's instructions for you on the back of the blue copy. I'm to take care of the I ticket. Can't pay that that ticket. Most I can't pay that ticket. It's not required to appear in court. There's a court date on the bottom of the ticket. Do so you take feel better about yourself? By the, uh, court date. Retaliatory you any, stop? You have any questions yeah, about retaliatory the stop. Did I voice my opinion? You have any questions see, about the citation? Did she violate my rights? Because you wrote the stop. Hey, I've heard it nice to say how you're doing it. You are. They're not out here violating my rights. You are. Any questions about the citation? Hey, tell your family, man, you're your heroes. Tell your, your family you're a hero, man. Next time, mind your own business. You're going to fight me, is what you're saying? I'm not going to fight you, dude. I don't, I don't know what against you. I'll fight for you. Well, why are you out here violating my rights for me, man? I didn't too, do dude. shit to you, man. I'm a veteran, I didn't too. Do, what did you do for our freedom? I'm okay, a veteran, I've done more for your freedom, freedom right now than you, did, than you ever did in a fucking military. I'm a veteran, military. too. You, you expect something because you're a veteran? You don't know you nothing? You should have read the Constitution before you took an oath upon it. I'm sure you read it. Because you violate it each and every day, dude. You just violate it right now. Retaliatory stuff. The right to travel. Whose rights are you going to violate tonight, man? No, you have a good night. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more First Amendment audit videos.